We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others do.
For Tally Ho, can you get a uh, still imagery if you can and any estimate on size or range? Looks like we got an object right in front of you, Mark. Can you look out there? That's what you're talking about. Never mind. Are we missing something? Anything. An object which is at the same place all the time, but appears to be tumbling. Well, we've had it ever since yesterday. It just seems to be tagging along with us. Flying there we go. Well, I see uh, we've had visitors again. Yeah. Are they worth mentioning? Agreed.
Do you believe in life on other planets? Uh, oh yes, there's not much question at all, but there's life throughout the universe. We're not alone in the universe at all. You're convinced that we're not alone in the universe? Oh, I know for sure we're not alone in the universe. And uh, I happen to be privileged enough to have uh, be in on the fact that we have been visited on this planet. And the UFO phenomenon is real, although it's been covered up by our government for quite a long time. It is a real phenomenon, and uh, there's quite a few of us. There's, it's been well covered up by all of our governments uh, for the last 60 years or so, uh, but slowly it's leaked out, and uh, some of us are privileged to have been briefed on some of it. But I've also been in military circles and intelligence circles that knows beneath the surface of what has been uh, public knowledge that yes, we have been distant. I have been deeply involved in certain committees and certain research programs with very credible scientists and very uh, intelligent people that uh, do know the real inside story. And I, I am not uh, hesitant to talk about it. There's been quite a few, there's quite a bit of contact going on. We have been visited, the Roswell crash was real. And a uh, number of other contacts have been real and ongoing. Uh, it's pretty well known for, for truth that in the last 60 years or so that there has been some uh, back engineering and the creation of this type of likely alien craft. Now, not all of them are. I suspect some of them are homegrown. I suspect that in the last 60 years or so that there has been some uh, back engineering and the creation of this type of equipment that is not nearly as sophisticated as, as yet as... Uh, what the apparent visitors had. They're very slow. Uh, they're not going away from me more than maybe uh, uh, three or four miles per hour. They're going at the same speed I am, approximately. Control Houston with uh, Atlantis Commander Brent Jett talking with astronaut Terry Burtz here in Mission Control about an object the crew members noted outside the windows of the space shuttle Atlantis. Uh... Terry, okay, we're in the process of uh, taking pictures with the 400. We've got uh, several other pictures as well, but the best view we got was through the uh, binoculars, and uh, the best way I can describe it is uh, there's some kind of um, reflective uh, cloth or uh, with 
uh, some, a metallic looking type of cloth, uh, a structure that's uh, definitely not rigid or uh, it's not a, uh, a you know solid metal structure. Can you describe what you're seeing? Well, the long line is uh, is a tether, um, and uh, there's a little bit of debris that uh, kind of flies with us, and uh, it's uh, illuminated by the sun at such low angles. So this is just a lot of stray light, and it's getting washed out uh, quickly, but uh, Claude is trying to do a, a quick, uh, good job here adjusting the cameras. Copy that. Copy that. 